Jess with Jess is Blessed. Happy New Year to everybody, first of all, first and foremost. I hope you guys all had an awesome Christmas and got awesome Christmas presents. And let me know down in the comments what you guys got for Christmas and what your New Year's resolutions are. One of my New Year's resolutions is to really amp up Jess is Blessed and really get back into making lots of videos and just bringing you guys lots and lots of content. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is you guys are going to see some changes with Jess is Blessed. I'm going to be focusing a lot more on just making videos and on putting stuff up on Facebook and on social media. I'm going to be doing my absolute best to be putting up more videos, including one every Tuesday, which I've been doing pretty good at, but uh, with the holidays, I kind of, I missed one. So anyways, there's going to be that. There's going to be reviews. There's going to be giveaways. There's going to be tons of stuff coming up. And then there's going to be like themes, like uh, I think Wash It Wednesday, like where I will have you guys ask like washing related questions, uh, stuff like that. Just kind of theme things just to kind of make things more fun and more personalized and just so that there's things unique to Jess as Blessed. The longer that I've been making videos, I've gotten kind of more uh, critical of myself over time and I've been more and more worried about if my background is perfect or if my makeup is perfect and all the little things that I didn't really care that much about when I very first started Jess is Blessed. So that's one thing that you guys might see change up a little bit is that I'm going to be filming in different areas like right now. The babies are in the bath and so instead of just waiting for the perfect time to film this video, I instead I'm just utilizing a couple spare minutes and I'm going to shoot part of this video. So you guys are going to see some of that going on and I'm also going to try to do some more vlogging. Uh, months and months ago, probably six months to a year ago, I did do semi-consistent vlogs. Uh, some of you that have been my subscribers for a long time might know that, but I'm going to try and get back into that. So, I'm really excited about that. Uh, next thing on the agenda is that on New Year's Eve, Gunnar decided, he just took off his diaper and decided he was going to use the potty. So, Gunnar used the potty, what was it, two or three times that day. And then he's used it three times today. So he is on his way to being potty trained, which is awesome, amazing. I am so happy that I will not have two babies in cloth diapers. However, that is going to definitely affect what diapers get used and reviewed for you guys. Once Gunner's fully potty trained, I'll definitely still have him try on diapers to model them for you guys, but I won't have that element of the experience and what, you know, what the diaper is like. Uh, on a bigger baby. So that is going to affect things a little bit, but hopefully soon-ish down the road we'll have another baby uh, so that we can flip-flop back into newborn and little diapers. So I'm really excited about that. And then the other thing I'm super duper excited to share with you guys before I get into the rest of the video, the Q&A part of the video, is that I got a sewing machine for Christmas. And the first thing I sewed was a little tiny baby doll diaper that ended up being a lot smaller than I intended it to be. It'll fit like tiny little dolls. But the next thing I started sewing was mama cloth. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's reusable cloth menstrual pads for moms. Well, I guess for women. You don't have to be a mom to use them. But anyways, there's a whole million different types of material you can use. There's different backing you can use. There's just a whole bunch. And I'm actually reviewing some of the Buttons brand ones for you guys shortly. But I started making my own. And it turns out, even though I'd never sewn before in my life, I'm actually like kind of a natural at it. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of those that I made because I am honestly pretty proud of them. And then we'll get into the rest of the video. Just real quick, this is the nighttime setup for the babies. Once I get them out of the bath, I bring them out. Their nighttime diapers are set up, their jammies, their lotion, their Grovia butt balm, and then I 
get them dressed and in their jammies. This is what my husband got me for Christmas, which was this sewing machine. And then he got a lot of accessories and stuff for it. And I have never sewn in my life. But I've just been practicing making stuff. And I set up this area. And a bunch of different yarn and stuff. And then I went and got a bunch of different materials, like a bunch of different stuff. This is PUL. Then I have some flannel, some cotton, some fleece. And then anyways, then these are what I made. So this is the baby doll diaper that I made. And I found a baby doll to fit it. So this is it. It did turn out smaller than I wanted it to. But I did find a baby for it to fit. And I'll show you guys really quick. I'm so excited. It turned out really, really good. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. But it even has a pocket in the back and I made an insert for it as well but I'm not sure where the little insert is right now so anyways but it has a little pocket and I did take apart a existing diaper that I had and to make this you know to cut it down but I added the snaps to it and everything so but I did add the elastic and everything so for the first thing I've ever sewn I think it turned out really well and then into the mama cloth that I have made. So this was the very first one I ever made. And this was a pattern I made for myself as well. And I mean, it turned out like really good for the first mama cloth I've ever done. The only thing that I kind of messed up on is where I closed it here in the back. But other than that, it turned out really, really, really good. This is a flannel topped one. And then the back is fleece, and it's like a real heavy-duty fleece. And if you know anything about Mama Cloth, they're... Oh, and it has a hidden layer of PUL, too. So anyways, if you know anything about Mama Cloth, it's common to have fleece on the back. And then this is... I really wanted to make some thong liner type things. And so I made this one, and it has llamas on it. And I'm waiting to put snaps on it because I'm getting some black snaps. But this one turned out pretty good too. Um, the only spots that I messed up was like right here. And um, my stitching got a little uneven like right here and right here. But I mean for, I mean for like the third thing I've ever sewn in my whole life. I mean it turned out really well. And I made the pattern for it myself too. So once it's snapped on, it will look like that. So I think that one turned out good. And then this is just a uh, insert uh, for one of them. So I'm in the process of working on that one. And then this one is the third one that I've made. And it's an exposed, it's called an exposed core pad. And it turned out just really, really, really good. If you guys can see, there's the top that is sewn on and so there's a lot of steps to making this one but it turned out so good like even where I closed it up and so that was on this side and I turned and top stitched it and it turned out just really 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 good the only thing that is not super super like to my perfectionistic you know desires is the very outside stitching but when it's on this side like you can't even tell but as far as like it being even and it looking good and just I mean I'm really super proud of it so those are what I have been working on guys so let me know down in the comments if you guys use these if you sew your own just you know what you guys think of mine I would love to hear some feedback from you guys because I feel like I'm doing pretty good especially for a beginner so anyways now on to the Q&A part of the video hey guys so we finally made it to the Q&A part of the video and so basically what this is is about a month ago I did a giveaway video and to enter the giveaway I asked you guys to give me suggestions for a future video and I had like 70 different responses which was amazing and you guys had so many great ideas but a lot of those were actually ones that were just like a question that I felt like I could answer in just kind of like a Q&A type format so I took 
the majority of the questions, I went through them and found ones that were similar, um, and I'm going to go through and answer those. But first, I did get a lot of video requests for the e.l.f. cloth diaper, which is one I've actually never tried, and you, there was a lot of requests for that diaper. And so I went and looked it up, and the diaper is $7.95, so it's really affordable. It looks like a Bum Genius diaper, basically like a knockoff one. And so I just ordered two of them. So you guys know what's coming. I ordered one for me to use on the babies or just Georgia if Gunner's potty trained by then and by the time I get it. And then I got one for you guys. And so I picked, I, I tried to get two of the black chevron print, which is what I had picked for me, but they only had one available. So I ended up ordering a different one. I can't remember exactly. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. But it's a gender neutral print. And when it gets here, then I will review the diaper and do a giveaway for you guys. So I'm excited about that. So I do listen to you guys' requests. And the second thing that was highly requested was cloth trainers. The training pants, like pull-ups, but they're made of cloth. And that's something that I had bought a couple of. Uh, actually, I have one Grovia one and one Ecoable one. And every now and then I'd take it out and put Gunner in it and he had no interest in it at all. And now that the other day he took off his diaper, we're working on potty training. It looks like he's very interested in potty training now. But now that I've pulled out the trainers, he thinks that they're diapers because they look so much like his cloth diapers. And so I'm not sure if he's going to be willing to even use them. Uh, so that is a topic that unfortunately I don't have enough experience to do a video on. If I do end up getting that experience, I will definitely do a video for you guys. But as of right now, I just don't have the experience with it. Uh, eventually, maybe I will do a video on the ones that I have for you guys, but uh, like a, a quick video review or an overview of them. But as of right now, that's kind of where the cloth trainers stand. So sorry about that, guys. And so now moving on to Q&A questions. Erica said, I'd love to see a video about where you get your cloth diapers from. And that is primarily I order them online. Well, my talking woke up Georgia, but if I don't continue on with the video, it probably won't get done. So we're just gonna continue on. So anyhow, um, the places that I shop online are Sweet Bottoms Baby Boutique. I think it's sweetbottomsbaby.com and they always have amazing freebies. Like always, they perpetually have awesome freebies. And I think that they have a rewards program too if you sign up. I'm not positive on that, but their freebies alone are good enough that, I mean, they're a rewards program of their own. The Green Nursery is another one. They have a great rewards program. When you sign up, you get a certain amount of points and then you get extra points. It's like 50 points, which is worth 50 cents if you share their products uh, like to your Facebook page or to Pinterest. If you leave reviews, you get like 25 points, which is worth 25 cents. Even if you like their products on on the page, you get like five points. And all of those add up. There's daily limits so that you can't do, you know, 500 shares in one day. But you can accumulate points really fast that way. And then you also get points for purchases and I think on your birthday and referring people. So of all the rewards programs that I've ever found, the Green Nursery is the best. Other than that, uh, I shop at Nikki's Diapers a lot. They often have a lot of freebies. And then other than that, what I will do is just kind of bounce around to the different cloth diaper stores that are online just looking for who has the best freebies, who has the best sales, and that's kind of how I do my cloth diaper shopping. The best time to buy diapers for sales is obviously Black Friday, any other big you know, holidays like Labor Day, they have a lot of sales. Uh, I That's when I got my Twinkie Tush diaper. So I really do a lot of shopping when there is sales. But as far as where I typically shop, I would say Sweet Bottoms, 
the Green Nursery Nikki's diapers. Those ones are probably my favorite. Oh, and Nikki's diapers, one thing I love about them is when you buy the Nikki's diapers brand, they, whenever you buy one diaper or pre-fold or flat, they donate one to a family in need. So that is another huge reason that I shop there. Margaret and several other people asked, I would love to see the inside of your diaper bag. What do you take with two babies when you are out and about? And what diapers do you trust not to cause stress? Now, honestly, I'm kind of one of those moms that lives like on the edge of like risk because I usually honestly just grab two diapers, two cloth diapers, one wet bag and some wipes and I throw it in my purse and I go. Like that's really truly all that I bring. Unless we're planning on being out of the house for like a long period of time, but usually when we're leaving, we're running to the store, we're running to Walmart and bringing two babies into the store. And along with that, like all their little things, Gunner insists on bringing his blankies and his bottle. And then Georgia likes to bring a bottle now of juice. And so all that other stuff that we have to bring along, bringing a diaper bag too is just such a hassle and so I always just throw a couple diapers into my purse and so that might not be what you guys are wanting to hear like you might want to see a big elaborate diaper bag and when the babies were younger I did make a video and I had two separate diaper bags and I kept them completely stocked and they were filled to the brim with every single necessity you could ever think of but honestly as time has gone on I've just whittled it down to what I bring now. Now, like I said, if I'm leaving for an extended period of time, then I do grab one of the diaper bags. And I do put probably four or five diapers for each of the babies. I put probably four wet bags or a large wet bag in there. Definitely extra wipes, extra changes of clothing, all of those things and bring that. But as far as just quick trips out of the house, I just grab a couple diapers. And as far as diapers that I trust not to stress me out or cause stress when we're leaving the house, what I will put the babies in are Grovia One cloth diapers or the buttons or best bottom diaper shells with a hemp snap-in insert in them and then the nighttime hemp insert as well. So with both of those inside of them, those will last for hours and hours and hours or pretty much any diaper, like pretty much any diaper with a Nikki's diapers, bamboo and cotton flap pad folded into it or you know stuffed into the pocket of the diaper with a baby kicks hemp booster in it as well those two together is bulletproof and the baby kicks are kind of on the pricier side but the Nikki's diapers bamboo flats are very inexpensive so you know together they're just phenomenal but if you can't afford the baby kicks ones you can find other hemp inserts that are way less expensive uh, like at the Fluffy Penguin Company, uh, that's a great place. I actually forgot to mention that earlier. I do shop there pretty often. For the more inexpensive diapers or the, like the screen printed ones or more inexpensive inserts. So anyways, that's a great place to get inexpensive hemp inserts. But if I'm leaving the house, Nikki's diapers flats are just phenomenal. And so for people that are intimidated by them, don't be. They are great. All you have to do is just fold them up like a pad. I mean, just literally like a pad and put them in any diaper that you already own, like literally any diaper, unless it's an all in one, but any diaper that you add absorbency to, you can put that in there and they are just the best. So those are diapers that I will put on the babies before we leave the house that I know will not leak while we are gone for two or three hours. Like I know for a fact they won't leak. So next Tara said, I'd like to see a video on why you decided to cloth diaper. And I actually made a video about this um, a couple, probably six months ago with my husband for Bum Genius Cloth Diapers. They had put out a thing wanting people to uh, make a short video explaining why they wanted to cloth diapers. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll leave a link to it down in the description box. But in short, I knew one person who cloth diapered and I was kind of interested in it. I was intrigued by it, maybe is the better word. And when I found out we were pregnant with Georgia and we were going to have two babies in diapers, I immediately started thinking about the cost of it. I was like, that's going to be a lot. And then I ended up seeing some newborn cloth diapers. 
at, by chance and I just thought they were the cutest thing I'd ever seen. They were just so tiny and they were really soft inside and I just, I thought those are really cute and I knew nothing about them, like nothing about them. I bought two of them at that time and I didn't know how many I would need. Like I didn't, honestly, I thought maybe two was all I would need. Like I knew nothing about them. And I came home and I wanted to broach the subject with my husband and I wasn't sure how he would, what he would think. I thought honestly that he would be like, no way. And that would be the end of it. But when I brought it up to him and I told him, you know, look, it could save us a lot of money. I had looked into it at that point and kind of threw some numbers at him. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I think that would be all right. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. And so then I started looking into it more and I started watching YouTube videos myself. And that was basically it. That was what started it. I, it was originally to save money. Then the more I looked into it and then I started learning about all the chemicals that they put in disposable diapers and just learning how awful disposable diapers truly are for our environment, for our babies, for just for our finances, just all around. Then I really started to get behind cloth diapering as like a cause. I began to believe in cloth diapering. But to start out, it was basically financially and because I thought they were absolutely adorable. Mackenzie D said, I would love to see a video on the diapers that fit petite babies the best. And so for that, I would say Bum Genius 5.0 and Flip cloth diapers fit newborns like all the way down they fit newborns uh fuzzy buns one size and fuzzy buns first year both fit newborns and petite babies very well thirsties apple cheeks and ecoable size one cloth diapers all are a sized cloth diaper and so they fit smaller babies much better as well so any of those options are really good diapers for petite babies. Jolene said, I would love to see a video explaining how your cloth diapering journey has changed from when you first started. And it has changed tremendously. It went from one baby in cloth diapers to two in cloth diapers, one being a newborn. And then it has changed from there as well because having a newborn and having a toddler in cloth diapers isn't really too bad because newborn diapers are so tiny. They're, they don't really add to the laundry a tremendous amount. Like they do, but they don't. And as Georgia has gotten bigger, which has taken a long time because she's been a very petite baby, now they're both in one size diapers and Georgia's wetting more and requiring more inserts and the laundry has become much more cumbersome like keeping up with the laundry is a daily chore every single day I have to do laundry the first you know year of that really didn't bother me at all and I had no problem keeping up on it but as I have been working more and more and doing more videos and doing other things with my life keeping up on the laundry has become harder for me just to be completely honest usually the diapers get washed and dried and then they sit in the laundry basket for a couple days sometimes even up to a week before I can get to them and fold them back up and get them back on the shelf. So in times like that, it's a good thing that I have so many diapers. Other than that, I experience m much, much, much fewer leaks now. Uh, I don't worry about stains as much as I did when I first started. I don't freak out about stains and I'm just more experienced. Like I know what works. I know about the times that my babies will need more absorbency, when they'll need less absorbency, when they're more likely to poo. I just know their patterns better and I know how to customize their diapers better. Uh, I also, now I'll play around with inserts more. Like when I first started, I thought that the Bum Genius inserts had to go with the Bum Genius diapers and the buttons inserts had to go with the buttons diapers. And now I know that I can play around with them. You know, this insert can go in any diaper, really. This insert can go in that diaper. It can go in that diaper. You can use a flat. You can, you know, you can just, you can mix it up and find what works best for you. And you'd be surprised. I mean, you really, when you think outside the box, you can find all sorts of creative solutions. 
and also I have experimented with a lot of different styles like I've gone through phases where like I really liked um, pocket diapers and then I really I did the flats and hand washing challenge last May and I fell in love with flats and covers and we only used those for you know several months in fact we only hand wash diapers for several months after that just because it did save money and it was easy and it was quick and we we loved it my husband and I and then from there I went to really loving like all-in-ones for a while and it's just it kind of it's funny how it like bounces around and so those are kind of some of the ways that my cloth diaper journey has changed but I'm definitely more experienced so if you're new to cloth diapering you know you will get to the point where you feel completely comfortable with it I promise Tori said I would love a video on how you deal with people being negative about cloth diapering and honestly I don't really come across that I mean I tell people that I cloth diaper and I, I get a lot of oh or Mmm, and I just let like a like water off a duck's feathers or off a duck's back. Is that the phrase? I just let it roll off my back. Like, don't even let it phase me because I know how awesome cloth diapers are and I know how much better they are. And so if people won't listen or don't want to hear it or whatever, I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. If they're, I feel like being judgmental or anything, I just don't let it bother me. I just don't. And I've never really had anyone say anything that negative. Uh, if they do kind of say something like, oh, that's gross, or, you know, why would you, why would you do that? Then I use that as an opportunity to educate them. And I will throw out, you know, I kind of have some rehearsed lines that I throw out, but like, you know, did you know that disposable diapers have known carcinogens in them and they'll be like really what whoa or that you know most diaper rashes are not caused by just you know some phantom diaper rash that shows up some diaper rash fairy but from the chemicals in disposable diapers you know I'll throw out little facts like that little little nuggets of you know of wisdom or information that people you know will they'll be surprised by and it'll open their eyes and they'll be more willing to listen when you really pique their interest with a you know a really stunning fact they're like oh oh okay and so that's kind of something that I have done when I find that people are being like resistant to it and then I'll usually talk about it until the point where I feel like they are kind of shutting off. I don't push them and I don't try to convert people. Like if they want to talk about it and want to hear about it, then I'll tell them all they want to know. But as far as people that just ask like a couple brief questions, then I'll talk a little bit about it and then I'll stop. And I'll wait for another opportunity down the road to talk about it. But I haven't really found anyone to be like really super negative about it. But if I did, then I would just tell them, you know, I'm sorry that you feel that way. And I know what's best for my baby and my family. And I just hope that you will respect that. You know, I would just say that to them. The nurse in the hospital, when Georgia was born, we had brought in a little little tiny tote and it had her newborn diapers in it and we had set out a diaper a cloth diaper for her to be put in when she was born you know immediately after she was born and I remember this will always stick out the nurse was like you want me to put this on her and I was like yep I sure do you know like I didn't even let it phase me because you know what what is she gonna say this is my baby this is my choice the hospital doesn't have a policy saying that I can't use cloth diapers on my baby. And even if they did, I would I would challenge it. But anyhow, um, I was just like, yep, I sure do. You know, I just, I kind of try to maintain that like positive chipper. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Assertive. Just to be assertive with people. And so that is, that's how I deal with it. And so if you're having problems with people, um, maybe try some of those suggestions. And if nothing else, then just, you know, just ignore them and just keep cloth diapering your baby because you know what is best. And if they bring it up, just say, I'm sorry, I don't want to talk about it with you. So that's kind of my suggestions. I hope that that helps. Taylor asked, how do you clean the poo off of cloth wipes? And that was something I actually thought of when I first started using cloth wipes too. I was like, 
um, how am I supposed to get all the poop off of these now? Because there's a lot of poop on them. And it's just exactly the same as the diaper itself. So you're going to just take it to the toilet and either dunk it and swish to get the majority of the poo off. Or if you have a diaper sprayer, then you'll just lay it on the edge, you know, in the toilet on the edge, on the inner edge, and just spray it, you know, in a downward motion off. My personal experience with cloth wipes is that I use more of them with a poo diaper than I do disposable wipes because what I've discovered is that with a disposable wipe what you'll do is you'll wipe the baby usually most people I've seen do it this way but they'll wipe the baby and then they will fold the wipe over and then use the other side of it or use another side of the disposable wipe before they are done with that one but with cloth wipes, if you do that, if you do kind of a wipe and a fold over and a wipe, then you end up with poo on this side and this side of the wipe in kind of all areas. So what I have discovered works best for me and my baby. It's, it's not necessarily going to work for everybody. So if you have another method or if you know of a better method, let me know down in the comments. But what I do is I just do one good, good wipe, as good as I can with that just one initial wipe. And then I just fold that one in half and set it on the diaper so that that one's ready to spray. And then when I go to spray them, I'll have, you know, a stack of three or four, but I can open each one and spray them off. And I just have one surface to spray off. I just have one, just that's it. And I found that to be the least messy, the quickest, just the easiest all around. It does take more cloth wipes, but you're just washing them and reusing them anyways. So it's really not a big deal, but that is how you spray poo off of cloth wipes. Casey asked, what do you do with cloth diapers that are beyond repair? Uh, a lot of people will buy lots of cloth diapers or they'll, you know, come across diapers, someone will give them to you or whatever, and you'll find diapers that are delaminating or the elastics are completely shot or they're missing a bunch of snaps um, or a combination of all of them that makes them like basically unusable. I mean, if they're missing snaps, they're delaminated and the elastic is shot, There's, it's really going to be hard to repair that diaper at that point. And so there are some things you can do with them short of just throwing them away because you don't really want to give those away and give them to somebody who is new to cloth diapering and might actually use them and then experience a ton of leaks and not know what's happening and then stop cloth diapering and, you know, tell everyone they know that cloth diapering sucked and it was horrible and, you know, you don't want to do that either. So what do you do with them? Depending on the condition of them, you can use them for swim diapers. That's one option. Another option is you can upcycle them or, you know, reuse them, change them into cloth doll diapers and give them to, you know, gift them for little girls that have baby dolls or your own daughters if they have baby dolls. Or you can use them to make other craft items. You can make keychains like little cloth diaper keychain or other accessories. Or if the PUL is still intact, uh, but they're just missing a bunch of snaps and the elastic is gone, you can cut them out and use the PUL to make mini wet bags, even like a little pouch for mama cloth. So there are a lot of different things that you can do, basically like craft things or projects that you can use old cloth diapers for. So you don't necessarily have to throw them away. So those are some suggestions. Okay guys, so because this ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So what I'm going to do is continue this on and make a part two and finish up answering the questions for you guys. I really hope that you guys got something out of this video and I hope that your questions were answered. I hope that you liked this format and know that I really appreciate all of your suggestions, all of your input. And if I don't get to answering your comments on my videos, 
please, please don't, don't be offended. I, I have almost 300 videos on my channel that get comments almost on a daily basis. And in addition to that, I get tons of emails from cloth diaper companies and from subscribers. And so keeping up with the comments at this point, because of how big my channel has gotten, would honestly be like a part-time job, just keeping up on the comments. So I do my best to answer them, you guys. I really, really do. And I love all your comments, but please don't be offended if I don't get to them, okay? And with that, if any of you guys see a comment of anybody who's new to my channel and they ask a question and you guys know the answer, please answer them and help them out just because you know, you guys know I'm super busy and I'm doing my best. So if you guys can help out, you know, help out a fellow mama and I would appreciate that so much. So please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here. There's always tons of cloth diaper everything going on and I might move into a little bit of mama cloth stuff too. Also some semi daily vlogs and other stuff. So if you haven't already subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are uploaded and I will see you guys very soon for the next video. So until next time, good night, goodbye, and stay blessed.